Welcome back to this segment of Spill Your Beans. Once again, welcome our guests from Cycling for Diversity, Ken and Anne-Marie. It's um, a beautiful name, by the way. I've been thinking about it all the time. It's just so unique. I love it. You, you couldn't imagine what she thinks about. So really, that's what you've been thinking about? I have, yeah. <laughs> right. It was just, it's a beautiful name. <laughs> all right, well, can we talk about the event? Yeah, let's talk about, about her event. Yeah? A little bit more about it. Well, I have one question. Okay. Uh, share something through the events, through the years, that, that stood out with you, whether it's with uh, an event, uh, on location, a guest, a teammate, something sure. that really stands out. Sure. Well, we uh, better, I would better. say that it would be during Mission Fest, we brought out a dunk tank. Now, Ken had just worked uh, the night before and came out the, the next morning and had was there with the firefighters as they set up. And we asked Dad to come out. And Dad dunked Ken in the dunk tank more than once, I'll say. And we had a lot of excited kids, and some of them didn't really want to use their balls, so they would run up and push the plunger and send Ken down <laughs> many times. So wow. it, was, it was a very enjoyable day. Yeah. Oh, That's awesome. so you had fun dunking Ken? Yeah. So oh, was yeah. it enjoyable for you, or was it enjoyable yeah. for me? But you know what? I offered to go in. I even wanted to change the <laughs> offer. And, and one, of our, one of our team members that, that stands in when we need an extra hand actually went and took my place. Oh, wow. So it was probably for the best because, you know, being in the accident before probably wouldn't have been the best thing for me to go plunging from the platform into the water. It's nice that you involve yourself yeah. in the event instead of putting somebody on there. Yeah. That's it's right. excellent. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. speaking of children, I know youth is a huge part of your event. So let's talk a bit about that. You attend schools. What do you do? So we cycle to schools. Uh, we've done over 100 schools. Okay. Well over 100. And um, mostly in the lower mainland. Okay. Last year we did the Okanagan. So we go to the schools and we talk to kids about diversity and what it means to them and uh, share in some, we have a team of writers that sh all share in a few minutes of their story that they want to share to um, encourage people to uh, celebrate diversity and be more inclusive in their schools. Okay. Yeah. Uh, who picks these schools? Uh, yeah. Uh, is it? Well, Anne and I both work together to uh, get a formula where we can ride and um, ride to the schools. So we try to do uh, at least a couple of schools in every town okay. during the ride yeah. so we can cycle. Yeah. Are you teamed up with a school board? Are you teamed up with any districts? Uh, or do you initiate it? You contact them? Yeah, we contact them. Okay. We go through the protocol of uh, booking yeah. a school. Uh, sometimes it's not the whole school. Sometimes it's just a couple of classes. Classes, okay. And we're okay with that too because it's very intimate. We get to actually hear the students what they have to say. You know, and it's 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 encouraging what they have to say, and they, they actually really think about our message. And I think we are really making a difference in their lives and what we share because there's some incredible team members that are sharing some remarkable experiences. And one story quickly is I asked a question about diversity, and all these students had their hands up. And one little girl says, uh, "Excuse me, sir, I, I want to say something." And I said, well, "What are you guys going to do during cycling for diversity?" Because so this little girl comes up, and I said, "Come up, and I want to tell you the whole school what you're going to do." She goes, "Well, I'm going to wear your button." And I'm going to put it on my shirt, and I'm going to take my bike, and I'm going to ride around the whole neighborhood and say we can all be friends with each other. Mm -hmm. I mean, how much more simple can that be? Definitely. That's a very, I mean, you couldn't say it any much better. And I say, wow, I mean, you deserve a medal for that. You know what I mean? So with that, now there's schools that haven't had cycling for diversity yeah. come in yet. Uh, contact them. Uh, I'm sure they'll be more than willing to have your phone call and discuss options for you. So mm -hmm. I'm sure there's people watching right now thinking sure. we should have you. So that's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, you know it's um, you know we uh, you can you can you, you can never talk enough about diversity. Yeah. You know what I mean? And we we all live in diverse uh, communities, neighborhoods, workplaces, and we're always trying to improve it. And is it you sharing your personal stories with them? That's right. You know, uh, I share some of the positive things about diversity and some yeah. of the negative things that I may have countered, and okay. it gets them thinking about well, there are challenges. And Diversity is a very fragile concept. It can go either way any given time. Yeah. We take it for granted sometimes. We have to really reflect on how we can make it better and, and, and make that part of our life each and every day. And we're pretty lucky living in Abbotsford uh, in the valley here. We are so multicultural and diverse, so it, we get to see the different backgrounds. Uh, I couldn't imagine, like you were saying, growing up in Mission, uh, late 60s, early 70s, um, being one of the minorities. 
companies. So it's good on you that you're doing something like this. That's beautiful. Um, I'm going to get into the techno con uh, concept of cycling for diversity here. Um, is it an Abbotsford initiative? Is it a Fraser Valley thing? Or, or is there something more profound about yeah. this? Uh, it started in Mission. Um, with Ken being the founder, um, and it's kind of branched out from there because our members live all over. Um, and with that being said, you know, we get invited everywhere and anywhere. You know, sometimes, unfortunately, we have to say no because there's not enough time in the day to be able to visit everywhere. Um, but, you know, I mean, even our t-shirts are making their way around the world. They've made them to India, Africa, uh -huh. uh, Singapore, Hong Kong. Um, New York. That's amazing. I mean, our t-shirts are going everywhere and we're getting requests to come everywhere as well. So. Yeah, that was my next question actually. You know, your t-shirts are going up everywhere. Do you have any plans of going outside of BC? Absolutely. Yeah, you do? And yeah, it's, you just gotta take it one day at a time. Yeah. So that's... Speaking of BC, uh, something new, something big you guys have just come up with? Yeah. Starts with a P, possibly. Yes. Or oh, proclamation. Uh, yes. yes. Yeah. So yeah, the BC. Yeah, the BC. Uh, yeah. <laughs> He's like, what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How can I forget? Yeah, exactly. So the proclamation has been uh, declared. Uh, what does that mean? Tell us. Tell yeah. our viewers. So what... a proclamation is um, when the government of BC names a, uh, a week or a day to uh, celebrate um, or recognize uh, something special um, oh, yeah. in the communities or in our province. Uh, that is going on. So they were, uh, they have given us some, about four proclamations over the years um, uh, to recognize our efforts and um, to celebrate diversity. They call it Second Foot Diversity Week from May 22nd to May 28th. So during that week, what we encourage as part of C4D is that uh, to make to uh, go out in your neighborhoods, make new friends, uh, your workplaces or your schools to be more interactive and talk to somebody maybe who you never talked about. And Anne actually explains it very well. So I think she has uh, something on that. She always does very well. We had a we had a, a beautiful story come out of Pitt Meadows. Um, one year we had one of our members, Bill McGregor, and he decided that he wanted to separate the kids and asked one young girl if she would get up from where she was sitting and come and sit over here. And he says, I would want you to introduce yourself to this young lady. And I want you to tell her something about you that you would have never shared with anybody else. And they, they had a little interaction, which was apparently very interesting. And then following year, she was at the school again and she got up and said, can I have the microphone? Now, not knowing what she was going to say, I just gave her the mic and she says, I don't see the person I'm looking for. And she explained who it was and I told her who she was looking for. And she goes, I really wish he was here because he, I would like more than anything to give him a hug. She says, last year he made me get up and introduce myself to somebody. And to this day, I'm best friends with this girl. She goes, there's not a day that goes by that we don't talk on the phone or that we're not with each other. Wow. And I just thought, wow, that like I almost started crying because I thought, how how emotionally strong is that that one person could help make a difference in forming a beautiful friendship like that and it's really not that hard you know something as simple as just introducing yourself can just go such a long way it, it takes yeah. a hello that's yeah. right that's all it is if you're willing enough to i guess we get shy and introvert we do. so yeah. we're scared of judgment it's your comfort zone right yeah. like stepping out of that comfort zone is what we need to do absolutely know, absolutely and so approaching strangers yeah. is sometimes tough on ourselves so yeah that's a beautiful story uh, absolutely, and proud of you. Congratulations to actually get an official day, yes. week, uh, put in a, in a proclamation you got. Yeah. Can we continue it after we get back from our break? Yeah, let's yeah. do that. So we're going to talk about where you guys go mm -hmm. and uh, try and let everybody know what town you're going to be in so once people do see this, they can come join you and help out Definitely. with this record. Yeah? All right, so All right, we'll guys. be back. We'll be back.